So there I was, chilling after a long day eating my Totino's pizzas when I decide to go on TikTok and the first thing that shows up is that vegan teacher calling out Gordon Ramsay once again. And you would think that that vegan teacher would have learned her lesson after getting roasted the shit out of by Gordon Ramsay the first time. But I mean, here she is again doing it for the second time, so she obviously hasn't learned her lesson. I mean, I'm gonna be honest, I'm not really surprised. It's obvious that the vegan diet has got into her pea-sized brain. But all jokes aside, guys, we're gonna be looking at this insane lady today in her most recent video on Gordon Ramsay, so sit back, relax, grab your freaking vegan donut, and let's get straight into it. So I'm sure all of you guys have heard of that vegan teacher, at least at some point in your life. And if that's the case, then this is probably not the first video you're seeing regarding Miss Karen. But if this is somehow the first time that you're hearing about that vegan teacher, then hi, my name is Exy, and I'm here to explain the whole situation regarding that vegan teacher. I'll also leave a timestamp on screen, so if you guys want to skip the explanation or already know about that vegan teacher, you could go ahead and skip to there. But yeah, guys, let's get into it. That vegan teacher is a quote-unquote animal rights activist that hopes to turn people more vegan by informing them on the subject. And you know, off the start, it doesn't really seem like a problem, but it really becomes a problem when she decides to be extremely toxic about it. You don't like vegan food? I don't give a rat's ass if you don't like vegan food. This isn't about... No offense to the rats. Or their asses. But I don't give a fuck if you don't like vegan food. Just eat the fucking food and shut up. Okay, now let me stop you right there. I promise you it is not that serious. Now again, I don't have a problem with people being vegan. I don't have a problem with people eating plants, but I have a problem when they're toxic towards people who don't eat plants. Like for example, that vegan teacher has made a word called vegan phobic to express people who aren't vegan. When in reality, it would mean people who hate vegans. When let's be honest, nobody would really get mad at somebody being vegan. They don't really have a reason to. But yeah, that video is actually the tip of the iceberg of stuff that that vegan teacher has done. And that's just one chance check mark down the list. Another thing she has done, she's called out Tommy Innit for whatever reason, and she tried to hop on the Tommy Innit bandwagon by trying to help him find a vegan girlfriend. What the hell? I'm at college and surrounded by women. Don't be scared, Tommy. Just follow that meat teacher, Miss Tofu. She'll help you find a nice vegan girl who will teach you what to do. So she got quite a lot of backlash from that video, and let's be honest, is that really a surprise? I mean, we've looked at the Tommy Innit stands, I mean, it's really not surprising at this point. But I could kind of see where the Tommy Innit stands are coming from, I mean, let's be honest, it's kind of weird for a- how old is she? 50, she's 57? Oh wait, my bad guys, she's 56. But it's definitely kind of strange for a 56 year old to tell a 16 year old how to get a girlfriend. Like, like, dude, that's a whole 40 years. Like that's something to be left to the parents or to people that are like around his age, like his peers. Not for some random ass lady on the internet that just spews shit about being vegan constantly. So yeah, on top of her hopping on the Tommy Innit bandwagon, she's actually hopped on the George Not Found bandwagon and accused him of murdering innocent animals. Let's take a look at this. And I'm looking for some light. And give me some likes, please. Am I missing something? You want likes for walking in the snow? How about you stop paying for the rape, torture, and murder of innocent animals and be vegan? Then I'll like you. Like, bro, what the hell is she talking about? Like, I will never understand this. She somehow manages to make everything about being vegan, and it makes no sense. Like, George was literally talking about nothing regarding eating food or being vegan at all. So I don't really understand why she tried to pull this out of her ass, but, you know, whatever you gotta do for the content. So after calling out both George Not Found and Tommy in it, she actually decided to call out Gordon Ramsay, and I just have to ask, what were you thinking by doing that? Gordon Ramsay is literally known for being the chef that critiques everybody and hard Partially critiques them. I don't know if you were expecting a lighthearted answer in your celery stick of a brain, but that's definitely not what you were getting. Eating animals is wrong, Gordon Ramsay. Hurting animals is wrong, Gordon Ramsay. Share their song. And if you call me a donut, that's fine. Vegan donut. Literally by just saying two words, Gordon Ramsay completely destroys that vegan teacher's entire career. That is considering she had a career. But when I say that that vegan teacher is walking on thin ice, I mean it because she has made another video on Gordon Ramsay. For those of you who are Gordon Ramsay fans and think it's funny that he laughs at animal rights activists. I mean, yeah, I think it's funny. He called you a vegan donut when you pointed out that he would call you a donut. I mean, if that's not pure comedy right there, then I don't know what is. I invite you to look at this picture. You see a row of baby boy cows, but there are hundreds of rows like this, and around the world, thousands, if not millions. These are baby boy cows who have been kidnapped from their mothers. 
They live short lives of misery before they are chopped up into pieces and turned into veal sandwiches. Yeah, that's the first step in making a burger, if you did not know. Yeah, thank you for informing me. I'm a literal Neanderthal and I needed to figure out how to make a burger. Thank you. No, but seriously, she tries to guilt trip people with this, but I'd rather just not know about the background on how burgers are made. Like, it doesn't really make me want to go vegan. It just makes me enjoy burgers less, which I guess is what she's going for. But the fact that she's saying that Gordon Ramsay supports that and is trying to throw him under the bus for this isn't right. Like, she most definitely did not learn the first time. Their milk, apparently according to people like Gordon Ramsay, does not belong to them. It belongs to him in his kitchen. It belongs in his coffee and in his cereal. Yeah, dude. I mean, if he buys it, then it belongs to him. That's how buying shit works. See, if I was to piss in a cup and sell that to people, then it would no longer be my piss. Like, it would be my piss, but they, it would be in their possession. They would own it. And of course, the cow doesn't have the capability to sell things, so I guess it's screwed up in that aspect. But don't get mad at Gordon Ramsay. Get mad at the people selling the milk. I mean, people that buy milk are just the consumers. They aren't doing anything wrong. Animal rights activists are struggling to give you this message, but here on TikTok, they will not even let us show you one one hundredth of what really goes on. Please go to WatchDominion.com to learn the truth and be vegan. Join us to help us save them. No, I'm good, man. I'm going to keep eating my burgers. I'm going to keep eating my pork tenderloins. Sorry, I just enjoy eating them and I enjoy how they taste. And sometimes meat can actually be good for you. Like, I'm not trying to take away from the fact that vegan diets can be good for you, but at least I don't have a damn iron deficiency. And it's not like having a few people go vegan is really going to stop the killing and milking of these cows. Like, it's still going to happen. You're still going to have people who enjoy eating meat and enjoy drinking milk. She also likes to call these meat eaters vegan phobic. And let's be honest, if you're going to call us vegan phobic, then we could literally use the same argument against you and call you meat phobic. But hey, guys, I thought I'd just go ahead and throw out there one more time that I really don't care if you're vegan or not. It doesn't phase me in the slightest you could literally be deep throating carrot sticks and i couldn't give less of a shit the only thing i do care about is whenever you try and slander people like me who do eat meat however i think that's where i'm gonna go ahead and end out the video for today if you guys did enjoy this video today then please be sure to subscribe with post notifications on and just like last video make sure you let the comments know that you are a proud meat eater if you made it to this part of the video but yeah guys i finally have a discord server up and running so if you guys want to go join that and possibly talk to me and talk to some of my other fans then please be sure to click the link in the description and join that but yeah guys that's it for me thank you all for watching today and thank you for the amazing support recently i'll catch you all later peace hey, no.